This is question 18 in a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're asked to draw uh, to construct the graph of x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. First thing that we should recognise here is that x squared plus y squared is equal to that that, um, that setup refers to the graph of a circle. Okay. Now a nice easy way to draw this is by assuming that x is equal to 0. Because if we assume that x is equal to 0, okay, so when x is equal to 0, what we can say about this graph is that 0 squared plus y squared will be equal to 9. So just substituting x as 0 into uh, the equation of our graph. That means that we can then say that y squared will be equal to 9. And that means square rooting that y must be equal to 3 or minus 3. So this gives us two coordinates. It gives us the coordinate, so x is 0. It gives us the coordinate 0, 3. And it gives us the coordinate 0, negative 3. So we can plot those points. So x is 0, y is 3, up the top there. Then uh, x is 0, y is minus 3, just down the bottom there. Then what I can do is I can just do exactly the same thing with y equals 0. You can see that the same thing is going to happen. I get x squared uh, plus 0 squared will be equal to 9 which means that x squared will be equal to 9, which means that x will be equal to uh, 3 or minus 3. So again, we get two coordinates. Our coordinates this time, though, are x is 3, y will be 0. So when x is 3, y is 0. And when x is negative 3, y will be 0 as well. So we end up with four coordinates. Okay, and as we said at the beginning, a common a common mistake here is people then try to perhaps draw a straight line between these coordinates. But what we just need to recognise, as we said at the beginning, is that x squared plus y squared will give us the graph of a circle. The other thing to note here is it tells us to construct this graph. So because it is telling us to construct the graph, that means, and, and as it is a circle, that means we would have to use compasses for this question. So when we do this, it should look something on your paper like that. Um, <clears throat> one final thing to say is just about this number here. That number, when we see that x squared plus y squared, the graph of a circle, the number that it is equal to, okay, that number indicates a radius, okay, and it is that num that number there is our radius squared. So we can see here that our radius, so from the centre to the edge of our circle, is three, and three squared gives us nine. So the number that that is equal to, x squared plus y squared, is equal to the square of the radius of the circle that you're being asked to draw. Okay, so that's part A. On to part B. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff here. So part B, we're asked to, by drawing the line x plus y is equal to 1 on the grid, Solve the equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 9, x plus y is equal to 1. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I've got x plus y is equal to 1. A um, couple of ways that I could, a um, couple of ways that I could draw this uh, this line, and this is just the equation of a straight line. I could first of all perhaps rearrange it and say that y equals 1 minus x, and then I could use an x y table. So x and y, and I could just make up two values of x 
find out what the values of y would be when that is the case, uh, and then draw my straight line. Or the alternative is I could do what I did um, to draw the graph of x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. I could just say x is 0, take that coordinate, y is 0, take that coordinate. As I've set this up already, I'll just do this. Um, so we'll take uh, what seems a suitable value. We'll take x as um, we'll take x as say minus one, and x as say one. So when x is equal to negative one, that means that y will be equal to one minus negative one. So y will be two. Or uh, and then the second coordinate uh, when x is one, one minus one will give me 0. So now I can just plot these coordinates, minus 1, 2. Uh, so minus 1, 2, which is just there. Then 1, 0. So 1, 0, which is just there. And then connect these with a ruler. Um, so I'm just going to have to sorry, just change colour of that a second and that should now work there we go so drawing my straight line okay now <clears throat> what we're asked to do is to use this line to solve the simultaneous equations okay and all that we have to do to solve these simultaneous equations is identify where the two graphs intersect. So what we can see is that one of our solutions is going to be there, one of our solutions is going to be there. So this to me looks like the coordinate negative 1.5 and then perhaps 2.6. So we've got negative 1.5, 2.6 as one of the coordinates where we have where the two graphs intersect. The other coordinate is at, I think that's 2.5. So 2.5 and perhaps negative 1.6. So the solutions to these equations I would say x equals negative 1.5. So just taking it from the coordinate, that's my x coordinate. And y, the y coordinate would be 2.6. And here the x coordinate is 2.5. And that gives me a y coordinate of negative 1.6. So my final answer is there, x equals negative 1.5, y equals 2.6, that would be one solution. The other solution, x equals 2.5, y equals negative 1.6.